In this tutorial we're going to look at WP Super Caches preload and plugins options. We're just starting off in the WordPress dashboard and we're already looking in the WP Super Cache settings. So what we need to do now is just click on the preload tab. And basically what we can do here is enable the cache such that every single post and page on the website will be cached. That means that we're creating in effect super cache static files. So any unknown visitors, you know, whether it's a first time visitor to your website or a search engine crawler like Googlebot for instance, they'll all be served up very cached files. It does create a lot of files though, so if you have a lot of posts it might be worthwhile not using this, but you know, you'd need an excess, well in excess of 10,000 posts. So to enable it, all we need to do is just check this box here and that'll do it for all posts and pages as we mentioned. Now if you have a lot of categories or tags or you know custom taxonomies you can also choose to enable that very very simply just checking the box once again. If you'd like you can also choose to receive emails when the files are refreshed. It's This is one of those things that it's up to you. Uh, I don't usually run with this on but you know if you're having problems with your website and you're not exactly sure what the cause is or you know, you want to just sort of have a look at any information you've got available, then they're a good place to start. So what I'll do is I'll just click update settings to do that and then click preload cache to start that process. Uh, as it reports, it'll start the preloading of the cache in 10 seconds. So you can just set that and you can forget about it and you can come back and check that later on. So what we're also going to talk about today in this tutorial are plugins and there are a range of plugins that are available for WP Super Cache. For most people, they are arguably not necessary. They are, you know, a nice addition. Uh, now, just having a look at this screen here, we can see that, you know, it is an advanced feature and, you know, you do really need to have a knowledge of both PHP and WordPress actions in order to create them if you would like to write your own. So, and, you know, any time you create your own, it'll actually delete your plugins when you update WP Super Cache because that's just the nature of the way WordPress and WordPress plugins work. And by default we have two plugins available to us. We have the first one called Awaiting Moderation. Now typically speaking most you know most often this depends on the theme uh, but you know most of the time if someone is on your website and you know they found something interesting and they want to leave a comment on a post if they do it and it's the first time they've ever done it or you know it might also depend on the moderation settings that you use on your website, it'll actually say to them that their comment is awaiting moderation. Using this plugin, we can actually remove that. So if you'd like to do that, it's, you know, this is one of those things where it's not necessary, it just can look a little bit better and you can just simply tick enable and then click update if you're happy to do that. Next we have the bad behavior plugin. It's kind of difficult to explain, so it's not something I want to spend a great deal of time doing here. And you know it's only really useful if you're using legacy caching. So you know in most instances you shouldn't be using legacy. You should be using uh, mod rewrite or PHP. So we're just going to quickly skip over that one today. And the next one we have is domain mapping. Now this just enables us to use the plugin to map multiple domains to the one blog. It's really useful if you're using WordPress multi-site, but otherwise it's limited in its use. Next we have the Jetpack Mobile Theme plugin. Now what this does is it just provides support for the Jetpack Mobile Theme and plugin. And you know it works really well if you use PHP caching and mobile support as enabled. So if you'd like to you can do that. And next we have No Adverts for Friends. So it basically just provides support for you know the plugin No Adverts for Friends. So you can just make sure that that's not on there. And finally we have WP Touch. This just enables us to support WP Touch, which is a mobile theme uh, in the way of a plugin, so that if anyone's viewing your website from a mobile phone, it will give them a much more simple version of your website, a much more cut down version. Ideally speaking, you should be utilizing a theme that has responsive design, so for the most part, that's probably not necessary. Uh, but as mentioned, if you have a particular need, you know, you can search in Google for WP Super Cache plugins and you might be lucky and find one that fits your need. They're not necessarily as prevalent as a typical WordPress plugin though. So we're going to wrap it up there. We'll just have a quick talk about uh, the preload options and some of the plugins that are available to WP Super Cache. 
If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask in the comments below.